Hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial Tuesday on this channel and today we're going to be, it's going to be more of a, a lesson than a tutorial as we're going to be looking at Illustrator and why you should be using that to create your logos as opposed to Photoshop. So to start off we need to understand the difference between raster images and vector. So um, to start off with I've loaded up this photo, uh, I just tested out my new lens and I thought this photo would be a great example to show you the difference between a raster and a vector image. Um, so as a raster image, uh, what Photoshop does is it uses the pixels in the image and tries to calculate um, how each of them relate to each other so that when you scale it, it can make the image look the same. So this works well, wrong image, so that this works well when you scale it downwards. So if I made it really small, if we zoom in now, the, the photo still looks good. However, if we then made it big, the photo starts to lose quality because of the algorithm and how it predicts uh, which pixel should go where starts to get a little fuzzy. Um, but what, what vectors do is they calculate and they plot certain points so they mathematically uh, state where things should be. Uh, but because of this, you can't get quite such detailed images with vectors and you end up getting clear, crisp uh, designs which are much, uh, much more appropriate for things like logos. So I've opened up this random logo that I had on my computer and it's for Shark Controllers which is which sponsors a few uh, esports teams which is why I have it. And uh, I thought I'd show, use this to show you uh, what vectors are. Now as you can see as I've highlighted it, it's highlighted all these points around the design and these are nodes. Now using these nodes um, it, you can see a number of things. So if I just highlight one of them you can see this angle going off. And what this angle does is it plots the curve that it leads. So if I move this um, this and then it will change the curve. So what um, Illustrator does and several other programs is they use these plots so that when you resize it it can mathematically state where things should be and there's no issue of losing color. Now the good thing about uh, designing Illustrator is that you can make something in this size which is fairly small actually uh, on a screen. It's quite small. I'm at 100% uh, but I can make this for a huge billboard and huge designs for the real world or I could export it as a PNG and use it in a small banner design. So what we're going to cover in this tutorial today is some basic uses of how you can transfer your skills from Photoshop to Illustrator and then we're also going to add on how to export to Cinema 4D which a lot of people I'm sure use. Uh, so we're going to continue playing around with this logo and I'm going to show you some useful things that you can do in Illustrator as a replacement for some things that you used to be doing in Photoshop. Um, so the most useful thing I found when starting in Illustrator was the Pathfinder tool. Now you can find this by going to Window and then down to Pathfinder here. Now let's open up this little box here, which is all you need, and the main one you'll be using is this one here, Divide, and then this one here, Merge. Um, so what we want to do is, say you want to cut out objects or cut out shapes. So I'm actually I'm just going to drag this to the side for the moment. There we go. And I'm going to have a square, and I want to cut out a circle shape in the middle. So I'm just going to get my circle tool. I'm going to go find the center point. It highlights it nicely for me, and I'm going to drag it from the center using Shift and Alt. Here we go. And then I want to cut that circle out from the square. So the easiest way to do this with the Pathfinder by selecting both shapes and then make sure that the one you want to cut out is on top. It doesn't really matter too much, but that's the way I do it. We go to Divide. And now it's actually cut out. So if I move the circle away now, it's been cut out. But what I might want to do is I want to scale it down. There we go. And I can just keep on playing around with the shape. Another thing to note is that uh, Illustrator handles groups differently. So now not only does the thumbnail is relative to the actual... Um, item and not the, the layer, um, but you can actually uh, find them uh, by selecting this uh, layer finder on the right. So, so you want to find this letter E, we can just click this circle here and it will highlight the letter E for us to move around. There we go, we can now move the E over there. Don't want to do that though. Um, the other thing is, uh, as I said, the thumbnail is relative not to the document but to the item. So, this can sometimes be a little de bit deceiving. So, the T and this little curve here looks the same size, but if we hide and show this, you can see that the curve is actually a very different shape. Um, so, do keep that in mind when you're trying to find a certain layer. Another thing to note in Illustrator is that it's very different to how it handles uh, the move tool. So, we're just going to go back to the shark logo and we're going to handle some points here. So, at the moment, we've got our first. Uh, our selection tool selected and what we can do is we can select this and it will select that whole group so we can just move it and so on we can scale it down in size or up in size there we go um, and that, that that's really easy we can just move it but what if you want to start editing points then we've got a different move tool here and that's the direct selection tool so if we click this and then we can go to a single node and we have to select that node remember to click that node separately don't don't just try 
dragging it straight away because then it will move the whole shape. What we want to do is we want to select the node so we click on it once and then we can drag it around or we can edit its handles. There we go to change the curves. As usual you recognize a lot of stuff in the sidebar and it does work very similar to Photoshop. Also commands are very similar uh, but it will, take, it will take a little bit of exploring um, to get used to Illustrator but uh, I've certainly put some time into it and I've become very comfortable with it and I'm looking forward to creating some more look for my logo designs in this software. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys how you can export to Cinema 4D. Now uh, as I'm sure you guys know if you've used Cinema 4D then there's some little uh, flimsy bits like this don't work very well in 3D design so I'm just going to delete them. There we go and the rest looks just about okay. I don't think I'll need the text. There we go. So we're just going to export this logo a bit. So I'm just going to neaten up. We don't need to resize it but I'm just going to scale up to see if we've got any small bits that are overhanging. Nope, it all looks nice and bold, it looks just right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go File, Save As. Now, you don't want to save it as an Illustrator file as... Um, so you do want to save it as an Illustrator file, but you don't want to save it as the most modern type. Let me just save it to desktop again. There we go. Instead of saving it to CS6 or CS5 or whatever product you're on, you want to go back down to Illustrator 8. And that's what you want to be saving as for uh, Cinema 4D. Now, this won't save all your items in the groups and so on. It will take them all back out to layers, which will click OK. Okay, there we go. Um, so I'm just going to open that in Cinema 4D. So what we want to do now is we want to import the file that we just saved. We're going to do this by going to File, Merge, and then we're going to go down to our desktop. And I'm just going to find the file that we just saved. There we go. And now this is scale. So because it's a vector file, you can import it as any size. Now one means it will be its original size. Two will be double the size. 0.5 will be half the size. I'm sure you get the idea. There we go. So it has imported it. Let me just open this up here. Has it imported? Yeah, it's imported under the floor, which is why. So it won't always import exactly where you want it. Let me just center it now. Now, what we want to be doing is we're just going to find all these separate bits. And each of these, we're going to apply an extrude nerbs to to make it 3D. So we can do this by going to extrude nerbs. Now, we're going to need, uh, there's four of these. We're going to need four of them. We're going to drag one under each one of these extrude nerbs. There we go. Now I'm just going to minimize all these because we don't really need to edit the actual paths. And now with these, we're just going to increase the depth by going to, let's go to 60. And then we're going to add some caps, which is fill it cap, fill it cap, with steps being, let's put 10 steps on, oops, and put the radius to 3. There we go. It's a nice detailed curve. Now the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to add this thing that I made earlier, the, let do it. The uh, texture, sorry, and we're going to drag it a little bit into the light. You can see it. So there we go. I've now created the logo in 3D, exported it from Illustrator, and as you can see, the other good thing about making it in Illustrator, exporting it from Illustrator, and not doing it from Photoshop, is that you now get all these smooth curves. You won't get so many jagged edges like you do when you're trying to export a vector image from Photoshop. So let's just preview this now. And then we have that we have the 3D uh, version of the logo that we just found in Illustrator. So I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. It was just a general lesson as I want to start encouraging people to make their logos in Illustrator. It's a much uh, more powerful program uh, for designing uh, 2D and vector-based objects. So I hope this was useful to you. Leave a like if you found it. Uh, and yeah, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.